One more. One more. Okay. So the day is here. The day of the week where I have the most anxiety for going to the gym. Yes, it's quads day. But when I'm thinking about it, honestly, when seeing how well my legs are developing right now, it's still very fun. And when you have something that you really truly want to accomplish, it actually, it gets two ways. You get hyped up to do the things that you need, you know is needed, but at the same time, you get even higher of a performance anxiety about it, at least for me. So comment down below how that is for you. I want to kind of know if the gym starts any type of anxiety for you uh, and why that is because we all have different type of gym anxieties too for me it's always about like i want to perform and i feel like i'm a little bit too tired to do that all the time so that kind of goes into that but yeah let me know down below and let's just go in send mode and i'm gonna take you along on a quick workout let's let's just do it I'm right here again and as i said it's all about getting into, into this and try to forget about the anxiety that is creeping up. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's a lot of uh, pressure for myself because even though I'm quad dominant, it's just still a body part that is really gruesome to perform. And if you're a tad bit tired when you're going, to experience pain will be hard. And that's when most like when many of you find it hard to go to the gym and find it hard to push yourself because probably you're a little bit tired and hitting discomfort when you're tired is something that a lot of us don't want to do. But unfortunately, I'm here to tell you that that's what you have to do. And you're gonna watch me do that right now and just like it, okay? Just like the video. <laughs> And I am starting with single leg leg extension. And I will most likely go back to extensions at the end of the workout as well. Kind of sick here, as I can see a new little piece here I haven't seen before. Kind of nice. Whew. Can you, uh, yeah, I will be. Can you guess how many of these I drink per day? How many should you drink per day? I would say at least five you drink. That's my minimum. Five of these a day. Five liters? Yeah, that's my least. That's solid. Yeah, and now onto the pendulum. Pendulum. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. So, yeah, I mean the machine. And I'm gonna just feel the weight. I'm gonna feel how I am feeling today because I just warmed them up. The quads are activated. But as you guys might have known, I did get like a quad tear or something uh, like a few months back. It's still aggravating and it's still like a little bit there. So I will have to see how it feels today. And we'll see, maybe I can do with or without the knee sleeves. So we will see. But it feels good today, I feel warm because I did a lot of steps this morning. So I feel like I'm, I'm ready for it. And when I want a squat to really hit my quads, I am thinking a lot about knee flexion, like pushing myself a little bit forward and putting a lot of weight and emphasis on my toes rather than my heels. So that is the way that I do to fully engage those baddies. So going forward, almost lifting my heels, just slightly. Be 
three since set number three is One gone. and a quarter. Oh, I wonder if they heard anything I said because I was uh, moving a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so much to think about, people. <laughs> really much. Are you already warm today? I'm, I'm super sweaty. I was sweaty when I walked here. It's hot. light yeah I wish like okay it is actually really light and I don't have to fight it's just that my knee is really bothering me all the way from my hip down to my knee so it feels like if I push a little bit too hard what's gonna happen is that the thing that happened in the quad will turn out even worse again so I am very scared and I hate to feel scared at the gym <laughs> So I'm just trying to play it smart, and that in some people's eyes will be boring, but I left my ego outside, and I'm lifting smart. Yes, FYI, and now I need to breathe. Two and a quarter. Yep. And failure set, so the last set in this one. Let's see if I can make it count. Let's get it. true failure I might have done like three more safe side safe side that was a lot of reps though 12 Solid. yeah I wanted to have a smith machine but none of the smith machines that I like was taken it's only that one and you cannot do Bulgarians in that one so I'm restructuring and taking leg press first and then Bulgarians you are a fucking machine in this one you are strong in this one I am strong in this one I am so let's, let's get that out of me and push some freaking weights. Uh, I'm just going to do one lighter set to feel like everything is where it's supposed to be and then I'm going to amp it up. And I am keeping my feet quite low since I want to target my quads and also very narrow because I also want to hit my, my booty but prim primarily let's hit the quads. So I'm putting again a lot of, of my weight on my toes. Ooh, the thing is though, when you go low, you also feel it a lot in your calves. Okay, yep, way too light, gotta go up. Oof. One more, one more. Up. 
Oh. Eight. Ah. Woo. That was so good. Uh huh. Upset. Oh my god, it's a fire. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. That's the goal, eight. I no goal. I just go. to the Smith machine for Bulgarians and I do these twice a week even though I freaking hate Bulgarians yeah. it is a sincere hate love kind of exercise uh, so comment down below what you are thinking about this one because for me it's just gruesome because you feel like ah oh, no I got it I got it I got it the first leg and then you realize shit I have a different leg to go on as well yeah it's it's really good because you you need to really brace yourself, your core, your everything, and you can really focus and target on the one leg at a time. Um, and I'm doing these now because, as I, again, I really want to focus on growing my butt since that one is slacking a little bit uh, in comparison to other parts of my body. Um, so in this one, I am doing heel elevated because I said this is a quad focused workout. So. Here, I'm actually getting both glutes and quads. I mean, you will always get your entire leg as part of your regimen, no matter like, if, like, in the, pretty much every exercise that you do for your lower body, you will be working your lower body. Um, but you can always focus a little bit more. And that is why I like starting with leg extensions, because then I know I will fire my quads for the ma majority of that workout. Okay. So I'm trying to scooch the, the front leg forward and really push away with my toe. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know how many reps I did on that leg. I was so thinking about other things. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. But you all know me, I'm really trying to be present. Is that ADHD? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I was so zooming off. I was thinking about an email I got on the way here. So I worked, I, I went straight into my work, Ida. Oof. I think you have a hard time to really be in the zone because you have so much going on. Yeah, I mean, I love my lifestyle. I love everything I do. But I think the videos that we record, 
that they make it look way easier than it actually is. Because uh, I'm here trying to work on my physique. I'm here to try to get kind of zoomed out, but again, I'm like flickering between the content and then making sure that my clients get the attention that they need while I'm working out as well and then planning. So my brain is a little bit smothered, but I really love everything about that. I am always, like, I love having thousands of things running about, but it's better. It keeps you alive and hopefully energized. Not always, but I feel like I'm doing a good leg session anyways. Dude, it's fucking amazing. Oof. I just realized that just in case someone else counts, I actually don't know if I did 10 on that leg. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's true. Okay, two more. Holy crap, it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, I feel like it's only one more exercise after this. Those leg presses really did me well. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it actually. It's not easy, not easy. Yeah, it's the last exercise, the last final stretch. Eh, and I hardly could walk down three steps of stairs. Yeah, they saw it, I, think. I think you guys saw it. So this workout hasn't had so many exercises in them, but it has been extremely quality sets. So what I've been doing is to really make sure that I'm working these. And you have no idea how much they're burning right now. So I can tell you for sure that work has been done, the work that was needed. So yeah, let's finish off with five sets of eight to 15. It's gonna be not high reps because that's what I did when I started the workout. Now it's gonna be just power, the last few things that I have in me. It's not gonna be pretty, I just have to do it. <laughs> Seven and a half. Wow. Well, yeah. It just dies. Yeah. It just like I feel so strong. The number five, I was like, I can do ten. And then boom. So I guess maybe it's time for food. Yeah. I don't think it's enough carbs in the system anymore. It's a solid workout. It's a really good workout. So I'm actually just gonna do 20 minutes to catch up on the work. So I'm gonna do some cardio and then head home for food. But I will catch you after the cardio here. I'm still alive, I think. <laughs> uh, my quads are numb. And I mean, like, I can hardly feel my quads. And I think I have a really good poker face when I work out because I make it look easy. Today wasn't easy at, at all, which I complain about a few times. But overall, this workout was great. Uh, those 20 minutes of cardio post-workout, not so great. <laughs> uh, I did what I did. I need to catch up with work, so I also get some few extra steps in. So today, I will probably hit like easy 20k. Uh, so enough with activity today. But what I wanted to actually do is to let you guys leave me with a few questions that you want to know about me, so that we could take that up in the next uh, 
the next video so because i kind of want to be real if that makes sense i want to show you that it's not all about working out there's so many things that's going on and that's why you might sometimes notice that i'm a little bit like off or seem stressed when we're filming but honestly there's so many things that's going on in my life uh and if you guys want to know more about that feel free to ask me anything and not only like hey can you flex your big toe because i can't <laughs> no but honestly it's more depth to me than just a fit planter or whatever you guys call me because i see myself as a person i see myself as a trainer so yeah let me know what you want to know about me um i also know that i do have a video from the beginning of me moving to the us and all of that what that was about so that one is like one of my first few videos so if you want to know that you can check that out and now i'm cramping in my shoulder so i'm just gonna say thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next one and be free to subscribe and feel free to subscribe i cannot even say that but yeah i appreciate you and thank you for spending time with me see you soon